One of our strengths in bringing these cases is the relationships we have with various state attorney generals. Because if you bring a whistleblower case, you're going to have a federal component and often a state component. And this firm has actually been chosen numerous times to represent many states when they need a go-to lawyer. So they know us. And when we come in and say, we've got a good claim, they listen to us. Uh, one of uh, the first whistleblowers I work with, there's actually a movie made about the guy named Jeffrey Wigand, who blew the whistle on some practices that one of the tobacco companies was engaging on. And it was from his efforts, really, that the attorney general cases sprung. Those cases, which we were a big part of, resulted in the largest settlement in the history of the world. And, you know, that whistleblower was instrumental in that. So had Mr. Weigand not stood up where we would be today, well, before he stood up and blew the whistle, Tobacco had won 806 cases and lost zero. And he was the springboard to turn around that losing record. Right now, the firm is deeply enmeshed in whistleblower litigation. Uh, a lot of it is under seal. But, you know, I could tell you that we have several matters all over the country, each of which is in the billions and billions of dollars. And I expect in the next 12 months, you'll be reading about those in the newspaper. You know, every year, the government collects billions of dollars from companies who have done wrongdoing. And they indict people for federal felonies as a result of wrongful claims. And without whistleblowers, none of this would come to light. So it's hugely important in keeping corporate America honest. And in fact, I think the penalties and fines out there are probably just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more out there that's uh, not being prosecuted that should be prosecuted.